the solemnity of the annunciation of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that they have greatly listened in my thoughts and in my words, in what they have done and what they have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask a blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest glory to God glory to God glory to God in the highest and on earth peace on earth peace the people of good we we bless you we bless you we adore you we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begat His Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, He take away the sins of the world of mercy. On us, he take away the seas of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God. 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace of people of good being. For you, O Lord, are the Holy One, you, O Lord, are the Lord, you, O Lord, are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace of people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means... God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will here i am lord i come to do your will sacrifice or obligation you wish not but ears open to obedience you gave me our sin offerings you sought not then said I behold I come here I am Lord I come to do you read in the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your love is within my heart. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, no. Here I am, Lord, I can't hear you read. Your 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she, wa she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will call Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom where there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will, will overshadow you. 
Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her whole old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When I was still in the seminary, in my initial formation, I had this short prayer. I will pray this every day. Your will be done. I pray, this, I pray this because the life in the seminary is not easy. We have to fight against ourselves. We have a lot of struggles. And we need prayers. Your will be done. Because I believe that my calling to become a religious priest is not my own calling. It is a calling from God. And if it is His will, I will become no, I become a religious priest. Kaloy sa gino, na himo kung gusto pari. And still, I am praying this short prayer. Your will be done. Why? Because it should be the will of the Father should prevail and not our own will. No? Ang kaubuton sa Dios may matuman o gili atong kaubuton. Because sometimes, no, I know, that we have our own plans in life. We have our own will. Pero ang pangutana, ang ato bang kaubuto ng plano sa atong kinabuhi, nakabasi ba kini sa plano sa Diyos? Because sometimes we as human, no, bot-boton, no? Kusay mapugsanon kaayo ng atong kaubuto ng may matuman. But God did not allow us that our will will be followed. It should be His will and not our own will. That is, sometimes we, are, we should have to reflect, no? If we have plans in our lives, let us, all, let us, all, let us always reflect. Ang akong plano sa akong kinabuy, ang akong kaubuton sa akong kinabuy, nasubay ba sa plano o kaubuton sa Diyos? Kaya kung dili, kamurit si nga aking mga igsuon, no? It has always be a failure. If our will and our plans in lives not in parallel with the plans and will of the Father. Failure ko na siya. Bisa na sa ang panahon pag-ampo kung dili na siya nasubay sa plano ko buton sa Diyos. Failure. Dili ko na matuman. Kaya nga no, ang kaubuton sa Diyos maging matuman o dili ang ato. Today as we celebrate the Annunciation of the Lord, the Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, we heard about the yes of Mary. Yes to the mission of the Father that she'll become the mother of God. And without hesitation, he said yes. The yes of Mary should be, should be our inspiration to respond, to say yes with our baptismal vows. Unta, ma-inspire kita. Nining yes ni Mary sa atong pagtubag usab to say yes with our baptismal vows. Kusang nga usahay, ato nang gikalimtan. As we continue with our journey, let us make Mary as our inspiration as we journey towards our eternal goal, the heavenly kingdom. Ang Diyos adunay nindot o mga maayong plano kanato and we have our different callings inaut unta sama kang Maria without any hesitation let us say yes to the will of the Father Amen Please all stand and let us profess our faith I believe in one God the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, please all me. Please all stand. And became man. For our sake, he was crucified and their bones pounded. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the fullness of time, God sent his angel to announce to Mary that she was chosen to bear God's son, conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us learn and ask for the humility and availability of the Virgin Mary as we say, Lord, let us listen to your word. Lord, let us listen to your word. That like the Virgin Mary, the faithful may become humble and attentive listeners to the word of God and put it to practice. We pray. Lord, let, let us, us listen, listen to, to your word. That inspired by the example of Mary, our political leaders may listen to the voice of their conscience and the voices of ordinary citizens. We pray. Lord, Lord let, let us listen to your word. That young people may have the generosity of Mary in responding to God's call to work for the kingdom as priests or as consecrated men and women. We pray. Lord, Lord let, let us listen to your word that in a world in crisis and alienated from God, the young may find meaning and joy in Christ, who is alive and who brings youthfulness to their lives. We pray. Lord, let us listen to your word. That you may deem it worthy and beneficial to us, that Theophilo Kamomot, venerable, be raised to the altar of saints. We pray. Lord, let us listen to your word. That, as a mother of God, confronted her own questions and difficulties in her youth, may she renew the youthfulness of the church by her prayers and maternal presence. We pray. Lord, let us listen to your word. Lord, we confess that the Savior is true God and a true man, conceived in the womb of the Virgin Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit. Through his saving passion and resurrection, we may attain eternal joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Take our glory as you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. O oh, Father, we are yours. We are yours, yours as we stand at the table, you said, yours as we eat the bread our hearts can forget. We are the sign of your love with a shake. We are yours, we are yours. Take our prayers, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. 
We are yours. Pray, brethren, that the sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is your right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for the Virgin Mary heard with faith, that Christ was to be born among men, and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and earth are filled with your glorious Son in the highest. Blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord, who sana, who sana in yes. You are indeed holy, o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy report this gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord and Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, who is our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be coerced in eternal life, and we praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, because you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will free from sin and save from all distress, as you are a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever. Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. But graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Stop the word of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the seals of the word of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the seals of the word. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless us call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my under my roof, but I will say the word and my soul shall be. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Surrounds me, defend me, and with the call of dead arise, bid me come today that I may praise the reader. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith. We pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is through God and through man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of religious articles, let us pray. God, this word, all things are made holy. Pour out your blessing on these religious articles and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law and in the spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body and protection and soul as they invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass been offered. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. O Maria, Raina, sa Pilipinas, pandalitin kami sa mga katalagma. Agaga, kami nga to sa matuluwas. Si Kristo nga anak ko, hugang among kagawasan. 